diving, Alfred's always thriving, he seldom wears a frown. Dipping, bobbing, diving, Alfred's always thriving, you'll never keep a good duck down. Can Alfred Jonathan Quack really cure Mosin's disease? Yes, and he's the only one who can do it now. Well, well. Here is my proposition, Your Majesty. I can save all those people suffering from Mosin's disease just by playing a tune on this fiddle. But I'm asking you to do something in return for me, which is that you put an end to the inequality which exists between the north and the south of your country. Please let the southern people share in the wealth of the north. You don't have to waste your time listening to all this, Your Majesty. But this Moson's disease has spread all over the country now. Well, our doctors will be able to find a cure someday. Someday is far too late. But this young man is telling us in the north to give our wealth to the size, Your Majesty. I know, but it's our first duty to help people afflicted with Moson's disease. It's an urgent task. But does he have the ability like he says, Your Majesty? Yeah, he does. Alfred Quack is the only one who can save your country from that dreadful disease. Professor Boffin, Majesty. Hmm? Boffin. Forgive my intrusion, Your Majesty, but please trust in Alfred. I've already confirmed that his magical violin can exterminate the Moson's virus. Thanks, Professor. All right, Alfred, I promise you that we will form a special task force so that we can discuss ways to get rid of the inequalities between the North and South in this country. Right? Then we'd better get started right now. Right now? That's impossible. You must do it immediately, Your Majesty, or I'll return this fiddle to the clown on the moon. Understand? What? Mosson's virus is widespread in your country, and a lot of people are going to die. All right, all right. I'll give away part of the wealth of the North to build new schools and hospitals in the South. Th thank you very much, Your Majesty. Now I'll get on my way to destroy Mosson's disease for all time. Please do. But I have one more favor to ask you. One more favor? Yes, Your Majesty. I'd like to take advantage of the radio so that many more people can hear my fiddle at the same time. It'll be easier if I broadcast by radio. Do you agree? Good idea. I'll arrange for that now. I want you to play for at least five hours non-stop, Alfred. Five hours? A non-stop? Yeah, yeah. We have to enable the sick people right across the nation to hear. And what if some people don't hear it? Then play it again, Quack. Hmm? Majesty, I'm really going to keep the promise you made with that man. Hmm. Mm. I'm really going to agree to divide our wealth with the people in the South. Cause if you do, then our standard of living will be reduced. But he can cure the deadly Mosin's disease. Would you like to catch that? Say so what then? Even if he can, we have no reason to lose our wealth. I don't think you have to keep your promise. What promise is that? Did I make a promise to him? Did I sign any written agreement? When? <laughs> you, Dad! Hmm? I just can't eat any more. I'm really full up. You can't be. That won't keep you going for five hours. Ready in one minute. Uh-uh. All stations are taking the program, Alfred. They all decided to join us for your performance today. Good luck. Mm-hmm. In 50 seconds, we'll have Alfred Jonathan Quack's magical violin performance. All patients should listen to it closely. Please make sure all Moson's patients around you listen to the music. His performance is scheduled to last for about five hours. Wake up, Dad! Wake up and listen to this! And now, ladies and gentlemen, Alfred Quack will send his greetings to you. To those of you suffering from Moson's disease, I dedicate my music, and I'm sure you'll get well very soon. 
This fiddle comes from the clown that lives on the moon. We don't know why, but the Moson's virus starts disappearing when it hears the sound of this violin. <coughs> Now sit down here and listen to the music. All right, dear. I can hardly believe this, Mr. Mayor. Well, it doesn't come as a surprise to me. I've believed it all along, ever since that clown appeared in my dream. Feeling better now? I am. Much, much better. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> going? Well, according to some of the reports I have, Mohsen's patients are apparently recovering. Really? That's fine. The doctors at the medical institute say the virus in their test samples is going away. It's truly a miracle. Alfred Quack has saved us, your majesty. Only him? Now I want you to sort the data on the Mohsen's patients and give me a report on them. Get with it now. Hmm. Hmm. Send in the sage in charge of security. Alfred, bravo! <laughs> <laughs> 